We're at CattleCon 21 in Nashville, and joining us now is Jerry Bone, Kansas a native and president of the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. Jerry, it's good to be back together. You bet. Uh, we're we're, we're going to have close to 7,000 people here in Nashville, and, you know, uh, it's been a year and a half since we were able to do this. We had to put it off in February because of COVID, and so we're really excited to see everybody coming out. It looks like we're going to have a really great convention. Let's talk about what's going to go on here. You know, normally the, in the summertime, it's when all the policy takes place. There's going to be a lot of that but as well as a chance to kind of celebrate the industry, even though right now several challenges going on. Yes, uh, one of the things we're celebrating is the 35th year anniversary of the beef checkoff, and so uh, that, that's a big milestone for us, and those committees are going to be working this uh, at this meeting to uh, work on authorization requests from contractors that will then be reviewed and funded by the Beef uh, Operating Committee in the fall and September. Uh, Policy committees, uh, certainly cattle marketing is still a big deal. Uh, taxes are coming up as uh, the Biden administration is wanting to fund a lot of their programs, and they're looking to take away some of the tax programs that are beneficial to agriculture, so we're going to have to fight to protect those. Sustainability and climate is going to be a big deal. Uh, we're going to be rolling out a set of goals for the NCBA uh, on Thursday here at, at the convention, and I think people will like the work that's been done there. Uh, we also just found out that the uh, Halls Act and the additional 150 miles on the tail end of a trip was authorized in, the, in a re recent bill that just passed the Congress, as well as some uh, rural broad broadband funding that will be beneficial for our ag producers as we get more internet accessibility into the rural areas. One of the issues that is coming back is WOTUS, Waters of the U.S. That process is starting, but uh, Jerry, that's a long process. It'll be on, uh, probably take several years. I think the previous law that the Trump administration got in, it took them four years to get it done. Uh, they're going to roll that one back. We're going back to what the law was prior to 2015. Uh, the concern is, is how far back they're going to go. Uh, uh, we've been assured by Michael Reagan at EPA that the rule that they're going to propose will not be as onerous as the 2015 rule put on by the Obama administration, but it probably won't be as favorable for agriculture as the Trump rule was that was just put in last year. Uh, the other thing that uh, we're looking at but may uh, be a long ways off, and that's the 30 by 30 that Biden and, and those folks want. It seems like it just isn't gaining much ground in Congress, which is a good thing for agriculture. It certainly is, and you know we want to protect private property rights on that issue. Uh, their, their goal is to have 30 percent of the land and water uh, under federal control by 2030. Uh, certainly a large part of that's already in place in the West in the federal lands. Uh, I think they're going to look at CRP lands and those kinds of things in other states to meet that. So uh, I'm not really too concerned about that one at this point, but we frankly don't know all the rules yet. Well, and with what's going to go on in D.C., there's going to be it's going to be rapid fire kind of. They're on break right now. They'll come back and uh, We'll see what happens, but really election year, it may be just a very slow process, and, and we'll see what the next election may be. Holds. Yeah, and you know, as, we come, as they come back, certainly January of 2022, uh, there's a lot of them up for elections, so we don't anticipate a great deal being accomplished uh, in the next legislative session. Well, Jerry, again, appreciate it. Thanks for your service to the industry. Thank you for having us. Thanks Jerry, for being here. Jerry Bone from Kansas is the president of the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. Stay with us. We'll have more coming up.